Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm uh, preparing to go to karate. Um, you know, when you're on vacation, you're like, man, you forgot what it feels just to be kind of normal. And then you, you realize, wow, I have a, a whole a whole different life uh, when I'm now on vacation. But anyway, um, I want to talk about in your martial arts, uh, things you you wish you could change and what you would not change. Um, I have to go three folds because uh, I do three very distinct styles. Uh, first thing first in karate, I love the discipline and I love the respect uh, for order. And I, I'm very much about that in my personal life. I like order and and, and honor. O order and honor. I, I love the kind of samurai mindset without, you know, being a samurai. Uh, definitely don't want to kill myself to, to you know, uh, a violent death, a glorified death. Uh, but I like the, the mindset of standing for, for things. That's why when I watch uh, Marvel movies it, it, it's so emotional to me because they stand up for what's good despite of and I like that about karate it's a very honorable respect uh, sense of bound to dedication I love that uh, I think I'm gonna break this up in three points uh, it's, it's too big so I'm gonna talk about karate and then I'm gonna say my other styles for another day and I love that sense of, of peaceful journey, but strong. So you, you, you remember watching those karate movies on Saturday afternoons where the, the instructor was so calm and, you know, he's whipping his people with one hand and one hand behind his back. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's joking, but, you know... It, it's kind of true too, you know, that's calm strength where you're so calm, but you can literally bend the earth uh, with one hand. I love that mindset in karate. Um, things I would change in karate, I wish they would loosen up on certain things. Like, I train in a style where if you were late, they they took it very personal, you know, like oh you you need to set aside and and meditate on the ground for five minutes because you're late. I'm like dog. I'm an American. I got kids. I'm a grown man, and I pay tuition for this stuff. If I'm late, it's for a reason, not because I don't got anything to do. Sometimes they could be a little stickler for that. Not all karate is the same. My Shotokan karate is, is not that way. You know, it's like, hey, you know, if things happen, come on in. But I have done other forms of karate where they were really kind of strict on time. Um, I've done Muay Thai class. They were really strict. And Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class. They were really strict on time. And it was because of the teacher. So... Sometimes the teachers can, you know, take it a little too far, but I understand it's their discipline and they and they, they take great passion about what they 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 dedicate their their life to. So I understand that but sometimes life happens. Um I wish karate would be more open to suggestions and if something could be done better. They try to do better. I have talked to my sensei sensei that left a other style because they challenge a way they've been doing something for, for tens of decades of years. And, and when he challenged it, they was like, there's some something wrong with you. So sometimes in Eastern traditional karate they could be very stuck in their ways and this is 
this is how it's done and it's been done for 150 years okay but we, we're not in Okinawa Japan you know we, we live here in America um, and that's the one that's the area I wish more karate would be open to suggestions like for instance I've been saying for years that karate needs more of a ground game. It should be a ground... Really, karate should have classes in their curriculum that is jiu-jitsu. Ground fighting. <coughs> I'm going to let you into a little secret. Because Brazilian jiu-jitsu is so popular, Japanese martial artists have been doing jiu-jitsu for hundreds of years. They took it out of their curriculum. They took it out of their curriculum and said, we don't really need that. That's not what we want to do. And then the Gracies took it and, 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 and it blew it up and made it to what it is today. Um, or helped make it what it is today. But Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, all, all, all these straight arm bars and guillotine chokes, they've been doing this for years. You don't forget, most karate comes from time of war. It was used in war. And when the war was over, they just implemented it into kata. And really, a lot of times, the kata was a way to remember and, and to hide it from, from the emperors uh, because they thought it was a threat. So, you know, that... that I, I, I hope that karate would put that back into it or there's a movement to go back into it. I'm not saying to master it, but at least know how to, to defend from it and to do simple takedowns and, and different things and simple moves and chokes. I have done literally submission chokes in jiu-jitsu based upon karate kata and they didn't even know. So that's that's one area I I, I I I have other areas but I'm not gonna bore you but just a little bit of open mindedness and add other styles. Not take away from what you've done, but maybe alter it based upon the times and not be stuck in one way for hundreds of years. So that's just my beef on karate. So um Keep training and we'll do more series on my other styles and what I think they should change.